Kansas is famous for a lot of things, one of which is tornadoes. And I can remember very clearly the first day the six young men from Torment Sion arrived, we had a tornado drill. The second they stepped foot in the school, sirens are going off and we're running down, you know, well not running, we're briskly walking down into the, into the shelters. That was the first time I met them. It was in the stairwell like this, talking and being introduced and I remember thinking to myself, wow, well, you know, these guys, they came from a place where they're, they're used to this. They weren't expecting this and they're kind of, have, they're, they're having a whole different Chavaya. So if they're able to, to come here and, and, and still be positive and kind of laugh and be happy-go-lucky, well, I have a lot to learn from them and a lot to learn from this, this organization. I grew up in a very traditional uh, Jewish home uh, where Jewish identity is a central part of, of who we were. My family in particular, my parents, both obviously were born in America. On my mother's side, my grandparents were born in Kansas City even, all Jewish. <laughs> the Tor Mitzion, I guess you could say emissaries, our first impression, not just mine, but all of my friends as well, was, hey, these guys are young. And look at what they've done in their life. Look what they've done. They've been in yeshiva. They grew up in Israel, but they've been in the army. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. A, a lot of respect. They came and they could talk to anyone. Any Yid, any Jew that came from any Beit Knesset or any, they were there to serve the community, first and foremost. They were willing to talk, to learn, to discuss, to help. You could always come to them. And they were everywhere. They never kept themselves, you know, in one spot for their comfortability level. They were, it was a, a type of, of, of misirat nefesh. You know, they were giving of themselves for everybody. They came like this, they rolled their sleeves, Listen, that's, that, that's the Dati Lumi way. You know, I, I didn't know this. They weren't there to go and shopping in Kenya, you know, go to the mall. They weren't there for vacation. They were there with a mission. This is why these people are the backbone of Israel. In my last year of high school, the Tor Mitzion guys helped me. They said, what are you looking for? They knew me by then. We known each other. We were together for, you know, for almost two years. Uh, Weitzman knew. Everybody knew who I was, and, I, and they knew what I was looking for. And it was a perfect shidduch, it was a perfect match. And that was the beginning. Yeah, hi Eric from Panaya, how are you Jim? Yes, great, uh-huh. And when, when did you say the project is due to start? You know, everything I've described that was special about the kolel, the Tor Mitzion kolel of these six young guys, Rabbi Weitzman, I mean, he brought it all together. He was an orchestrator, kind of like a, you know, of a symphony. He knew how to play their strengths of these, of these gentlemen. He always was there for them, and he always made sure to utilize them and to direct them, to give them guidance. And that, 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 was, that was the success, you know? He, he was magical in that sense. Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> like those TV shows. <laughs> what are you doing? Fabulous. Uh, we were in Kansas City for two years. The greatest satisfaction was the graduation. The graduation, Eric gave his graduation speech in Hebrew and spoke about the importance of coming to live in Israel. And right there. Not an easy message for... Uh, that, not, easy, not, a, not a usual <laughs> message for graduation in Kansas City. Right. He was so in tune to what was needed in the community, to what was expected of the Kolel, why it was brought there, and he answered the call perfectly. Torah Mitzion uh, for me is spreading the word of Torah El Tisrael, the special Torah that is in Israel that speaks about living the Torah, about not only learning Torah but living it, applying it to our lives. How do we live a Torah existence and how does Torah influence who we are? And that Torah El Tisrael to bring that to people in Kansas City, to people in Europe, to people in, in Australia. To bring that message is something that they've never heard before and I think Eric will agree that this was a new, fresh message. Somehow I made it back. Why me? After all we've been through as a people, after everything, you know, you couldn't even write a movie that good, you know, or a novel this good, you know. Somehow I was fortunate to come back after I made it, at least I survived. I survived and got back here and I have an amazing schut to have my children be born here. That's got to blow you away. The success was measured by how many people were more motivated, how many people were inspired, were influenced to do more for their community. For Eric, the choice was to come to Israel. For many of the other students, many other people who went through the Kolel, 
the influence was to be more involved in the community, to come to a regular service or to do a chesed or to give a charity project. These are the first children in my family line to have been born in Israel from probably close to 3,000 years. My dream really is to live out my days here in Israel, to see my, my children grow up in Israel, my grandchildren, please God, and so on and so forth. I want to see them stay here. I want to see them have the same, the same fire and the same understanding of how special, how fortunate we are to be here. That's, that's my dream, is that my children understand what it's all about. My success uh, story of living in Israel for 15 years and never, never looking back, that I can say Torah Mitzion played an extremely integral part. סרט למזכרת, להתרגש מחדש.